What's going on everybody? You guys know that I'm pretty much a total gym purist with regards to my resistance training, but I never want to sway you guys away from other modes of exercise. So to mix it up a bit, I dusted off my barbell and my bumper plates, brought them outside for a hybrid workout of sorts that I thought I'd share with you guys in this video. So here I'll comment on the workout itself and kind of what I thought about it. I'll discuss how maybe you guys can implement barbell training specifically into your thought and bench training. And then also get into a broader topic about the importance uh, and possible importance, I should say, about doing some form of cross training along with your thought immense training as well. Now everything featured in this video I'll link down in the description box as always if you guys do want to check it out and to support the channel. Uh, specifically this set of bumper plates which at the time I bought it I really just got it because it was a cheap pair of 45 pound plates just happened to be bumper plates but it actually ended up paying off in the future here. Kind of thought I might use it for that functionality but it's still pretty affordable on Amazon if you guys do want to check those out. Now the original idea for this video actually came about when I saw this shirt kind of looking at me in my drawer. I got this for free at a uh, CrossFit seminar one of their certifications years ago uh it used to be called like dubbed the most expensive t-shirt because you got it for free we went to one of those seminars so i thought i'd maybe show you guys like a crossfit slash like total gym workout and maybe kind of think about using like snatches and cleans and stuff like that but then i kind of ditched the idea and just thought i'd just do like a barbell workout uh, and even though I did take their certification, I never really considered myself a CrossFit enthusiast, but I am someone who always would and learn and somewhat kind of blend different training styles together in my workouts. And so like I was saying, this isn't really a CrossFit workout, but you could consider this a cross training workout of sorts. Uh, as I did feel like I was working with two different modalities with slotty benches and barbell training at the same time. Both of which I consider, which I mentioned in a previous video, as a form of skill-based resistance training, as most types of exercises are. So I think this is one of the many perks of a lifelong commitment to physical exercise, as you'll naturally evolve, learn, and apply new techniques to fit your goals and interests. And that's one of, if not the best benefit, in my opinion, of potentially incorporating some cross training along with your sliding bench training. So I never would say you need to do cross training to get some results on this equipment, but it certainly doesn't hurt. You know, learning new movement skills like barbell training, specifically in this, like you're seeing in this video, uh, Pilates, calisthenics, um, even some other form of a hobby, which are great ways to improve your overall functionality and physical fitness. So while there definitely are many benefits to doing this, you also have to consider, and I always tell people, there's always pros and cons to any kind of physical activity or exercise, but first and foremost, is it gonna take away from your goal or is it gonna contribute to your goal? You know, if your goal is to increase muscle definition or is your goal to like run a marathon, some of that nature, is some other form of activity gonna help or hinder that performance from just taking away energy or just your training resources in some regard? Um, is this other activity have a potential um, risk of injury? You know, things like martial arts, uh, which I love, uh, stuff like intramural basketball, or I should say adult basketball or adult sports, those are high risk, somewhat high risk activities that certainly are still good and promote a lot of good physical fitness, but there's always gonna be a risk of injury more so than a controlled environment like you're doing a workout here in a total gym. So basically a solid choice for any activity you're gonna be considering to add is understanding how it affects your overall goals and how well the other additions work with each other. And what I thought was pretty cool, but I really wasn't surprised by, was that jumping back into just doing some of these barbell exercises that I've kind of taken a long hiatus with or anything I do once in a blue moon, uh, throughout these last few years of working out with a Saudi bench trainer, they still feel really natural and I still feel like I'm not missing a beat. Uh, my muscles don't feel like they're aching or they're, like they're weaker than they were before. If anything, everything feels exactly how it was. Everything feels really smooth. So that says a lot in my opinion just about training exclusively with a total gym that yes, you can still get strong, build functionality, uh, and I would say, yeah, and I'm saying maintain physical fitness, but you keep up that level of physical fitness with regards to resistance training and your overall strength. Uh, as far as this workout itself in general, this was definitely a tough workout. I kind of knew it was gonna be pretty tough. Anytime you're messing around with free weights in general and doing a bunch of multi-joint exercises, along with kind of supersetting with something else, like in this case, the total gym, I knew I was gonna be in for a hard workout. And this was just one of those workouts where I had like my heavy music going, kind of working out my own little internal demons, so to speak. Uh, I like to do this from time to time. I like kind of get in the zone and kind of just go full bore on some activity. So I was going at it for a while. I don't know how long I went, but after that I kind of mowed the lawn and long story short, I had like a huge appetite that day. Uh, being Friday, I actually didn't have meat that day, but I had like just kind of bad food to be honest. I had like a gigantic, not really bad, but gigantic fruit smoothie. Um, had McDonald's fish filet, had pizza later in the evening. But the point was I had like a bottomless stomach because I was putting a lot of effort into this workout. But overall, it was a really fun workout. I essentially was just mixing back and forth with various exercises, working the whole body from the barbells to the total gym. Uh, as you guys 
guys can see here, trying something new here that worked out pretty great, which was barbell benching off my total gym. And you guys have seen from previous videos, I've definitely done dumbbell benching off, off a total gym, but never with a barbell, at least I don't think I have. Uh, but it worked out really good. And this is another, you know, one of the benefits of having a sliding bench trainer that has multiple increments, because it allowed you to kind of fine tune uh, the setting for that particular height. I actually messed a lot of different increments for a number of exercises. So again, I thought this was a workout particularly that kind of shows off the value of having increments. The primary barbell exercise I just took advantage of were some just simple basic ones like bent over rowing, overhead pressing, uh, just some squatting from front squats to back squats, did some deadlifts. Technically, I did some barbell cleans to kind of set up for other exercises. I had actually intention to do more. I just kind of forgot about it. I even considered doing some uh, barbell snatches. It just, I, was, I haven't done that in a while, so I didn't want to jump in and do just you know, 135 pound uh, snatch. Uh, then of course, the total gym you guys are just seeing, pretty much the staples you guys have been seeing this whole summer, uh, not adding anything really extravagant or different outside of that. A lot of times that's just honestly because my attachments are still in the basement. If I, I need to bring some more of those out, but I've been kind of feeling pretty comfortable with this staple of exercise that I've been doing this summer. Now, if you're watching this workout and you're thinking that you want to incorporate some barbell exercise with your total gym, I definitely would encourage you guys to do that uh, with a couple of little caveats. One would be, you know, just take your time, go slow with it. Don't feel like you have to do obviously everything I'm doing here in this video, but just like with the total gym, in that previous video I talked before about the skill-based nature of a total gym, you gotta respect every exercise and every modality and just realize it's gonna take some time and honestly, that's always the fun part. So stick to your staple that feels good, but then slowly incorporate some new things and kind of work on some new things. And that's what really makes you know, a workout session all the more interesting. So if you're watching this workout and it looks like it's fun or maybe it doesn't look fun, but maybe it looks productive, don't feel like you have to do or have to incorporate uh, external free weights to kind of get results in this machine. This was just something out of interest. So even with the total gym, I mean, you don't, there's all sorts of ways to get to your end goal. You got to kind of find what, what works for you. Uh, the point is there's nothing super special about this. That's something I kind of want to break the mold with you guys for a while in these videos that um, for a lot of you guys, some of you guys feel like you can't get a certain body type unless you use free weights, barbells and dumbbells. Uh, I don't think that's the case. Same thing with the total gym. I mean, yes, you can get go that way, but you can go use free weights as well. So the point is don't worry about this. Don't get lost in the weeds. Find the exercises that work for you, slowly progress and learn new stuff, but you don't need to overcomplicate things with super special uh, workouts or exercises or modes of ex or modes of exercise in general. 90 plus percent of people I talk to have pretty simple goals in the sense that they just want to improve function. They want to improve maybe some muscle definition, look a little bit better. Uh, this is pretty easy to achieve with some very basic exercises. The main ingredient is consistency and of course, definitely some hard work. But definitely if you guys do have any specific questions on form function, uh, putting some of this stuff together, definitely check out my services page on my website if you guys are interested in like one-on-one -on -one consultations or program design options. But that's it guys, just another video that I wanted to motivate you guys and kind of show you just some other options and other workout ideas to kind of stick to and incorporate with your total gym. This is a great workout to do outside if you guys have the ability to do it with free weights and a total gym. That was probably one of the best parts of this whole thing to be honest with you, being able to kind of mess around with free weights uh, in the sun with coming down on me. I uh, felt really good. I don't know really the last time I've actually even done that. Uh, probably it's gotta been at least, you know, over five to 10 plus years I've done something like this with the barbells outside. So that was another huge plus. But that's it, you guys. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys did like this video, please consider liking, subscribing, and sharing this content. Also feel free to let me know anything you guys wanna see in the future. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.